Your body is a powerful instrument of communication. And just as we needed to talk about how to rehearse language, we also need to talk a little bit about how to rehearse body language. Because there really is no mind-body split. When you deliver a successful presentation, your body as well as your mind is fully engaged. And survival reactions, if you recall, are not just intellectual, and they're not just verbal, they're also very physical. So we need to recognize our body. And in recognizing our bodies, we can control those survival reactions. We can replace unintended gestures with intentional gestures. For instance, think about recognizing your body, particularly recognizing your stance. Recognizing your body is the first step in defeating survival reactions. Rehearse so you replace survival reactions with intentional gestures. Your body is your foundation, so cater to your body. Wear appropriate but comfortable clothing. You need a firm stance as a foundation to make your point. So experiment with stances. Don't just rock back and forth. Figure out how you like to stand and intentionally stand that way. Feel large, even if you are small. If you are very small, get out from behind the podium so people can see you. But however you address yourself to the podium, think about it. Do you want to anchor one hand on the podium? That might be useful, for if you are nervous, think about ways of supporting your hands so people don't see a shaking laser pointer or shaking script. Overall, recognizing your body will help you in many ways. Practice your movement in concert with your script. So if you're counting things off in your script, count them off with your fingers. Say first and hold up one, second and hold up two. This will give your points emphasis. If you're punctuating a point, do so with your hands as well. Reach beyond your shoulder span so you appear large and compassing. Practice, too, your at-ease stance so that you're not lost when you are reading or listening to a question. The point is, we all have bodies. Many of us have been taught growing up to be self-conscious about our bodies. But your body is part of what makes you a successful communicator. It doesn't need to hold you back. What you need to do is think about how to deploy your attributes. Think about how to present yourself successfully. The rest will follow.